Hello and welcome back to the videos on database for IGCSE ICT. In this video, we are going to be producing a report as part of the finalizing stage of manipulating data. For example, take a look at this question for the 20, uh, 2023 uh, paper 2, which says after you have import your your tables and major relationships and all of that now you need to create a tabular report that it will have some filters and it will have some um some order and it will include some data some fields and some others will exclude it and our goal with this video is create something like this this will be our final output, a report for cars. Why cars? Well, we're going to be working with this exercise since the beginning, and we are going to be working for a company that have well, a garage of cars. And our job is to do this. A customer walk in and say, hey, I would like to know what are the cars that you have in your garage that are made for uh, by Ford. And your manager say hey please create a report which is you never give a excel file to the to the customer you give a pdf that you print which have as you can see here for example have all of the cars listed in your garage with for that brand and for those particular items that the clients want to know in this case for example um we are going to be working with this file called called cards and i will be posting that in the description or where i share the video with you and if you open this file as it is right now you will see that there are other information that you will not like the customer to see for example the price where you buy the car for or if it needs cleaning or not so we are going to be doing some modification or some manipulation to this uh, to this file but remember since we are working with databases we're gonna do all of that in Microsoft Access cool so let's jump in to the starting point the first thing that we want to do is to import the file because if you open the file just to examine the file at the moment you will see that these names for the column doesn't make much sense and at the same time um, you want to organize them so we want to import the data um, to Microsoft Access give the file names corresponding names and insert a new field insert a new field here um, a new field called ID and we want to indicate this field as a primary key cool if you haven't if you haven't seen the videos on importing files and setting the primary key i will let the video in the description or where i share the video with you this stage we're going to do it a little bit fast so that we can move to the real target for this for this exercise which is manipulating the data in this case using query okay so i will close this database that i have here and i will start since the beginning and i will have a blank database i will import let's call this database um garage and now i i don't have anything because i need to uh, insert my file I'm gonna find where my file is and I'm gonna go through the process of indicating the corresponding type of data, the, the corresponding field names and what is the primary key or insert one if I don't have. For example, this will be changed to manufacturer or maker. And this is a top, a short test, yes, color, price that we bought the car we're going to change that for purchase price 
and price that will sell the car we're going to change it for selling price um here prices are currency so we need to change this to currency and we need to change this to currency gear is a uh, is okay extra is okay those are the extra feature that it has and if this if the car needs cleaning or not we're going to synthesize this as if valet or not we change the field name valet or no is a um, type of data boolean yes or not and once that we confirm that we have done that correctly we can indicate that we want to create a new field and add this new field as a primary key if i have my primary key remember that you just can select here your primary key but you don't have it so let's let's um let us to create one for us and is id perfect how do i want to call my table well cars is okay i finish and i have my table i don't need this table anymore i have my table cars here as you can see is everything that i needed for the first stage which is importing the t importing the file and then changing the name the field name inserting a new field called id um, and select that as primary key done now we can get our hands dirty with the real task and it is i want to before we create the report i need to filter all of this by the cars that are only made by four the cars are only made by four and i want to eliminate the i want to eliminate as the question say here i want to exclude i want to exclude the id field and i want to exclude the price that we bought the car for as well as we want to sort for nearest to older which me which means we're going to sort by the year from the the nearest to the last year that we have cars from um now to do this as mentioned that we're going to use query so we're going to come back to our table and we're going to create a query a query is this set of filters and rules that we are talking about i will close this table and i will go to create query here you have query wizard it's a simple query now do i need to include all all the fields no i don't need the id i don't need the price that we purchased the car and actually we don't need the ballet neither so in, you, you can pass the one that you need one by one or let me go back or we can select them all and then just delete those that i don't need or not include them so these are the fields that will be included and these are the fields that will be excluded with that we do the filter that we mentioned uh, about what we want and what we don't want now let's continue we want to see everything how do we gonna call this query look the table is called cars already here is the car filter or, or, or the car that we're gonna produce so we can leave a query because this is not what we're gonna show to the customer um we want to modify the query design because this is what we're going to include that if we want to to show only the four and all of that so let's click finish what is this this is new oh well this is the session when you can see your query uh, the query design and if you want to see the result you can run the query when you run you see your table with the fields that you all that you select as visible and the fields that you uh, exclude are still in the in the table 
Now, we need to modify this because we don't want all of them, right? So we go back to the design view and we select here a criteria under the field that we are interested in, in this case, the male. So we want here that is four. When I click enter, it, in, uh, it enclose the word as uh, within quotation mark as a string. And we don't need anything else from this. Let's run the query again. Now you can see that the cards that are presented here are only made by four. Cool. So we already filter the, the cards by the manufacturer and we already show only the, only the field that we are interested in. Now, and finally, we are going to create the report with, and we're going to uh, sort that by year, which will give us the output. So let's go back. We can close the query so that we can save it. And we're going to create now a report. We're going to, in create, go to report wizard. Here, from the query, it select the query. You can select also the table, but it select the query because this is the middle stage. I want all of these fields, no problem. And then I don't need to group it for this case. Grouping is a thing that we will learn later in other videos. Um, because, for example, in this question paper, it says don't no group the data. Sometimes they say group the data by certain parameters. So here we don't need to do anything. We just click, we just click next. And here is when we sort what we see. So let's sort it by year in descending order. Now we'll be sorted by year in descending order. Here we click next and we are creating a tabular report. That is why, again, the question paper normally will say what type of report you are generating. In this case, it's a tabular report that we are trying to make this example as close as possible to the question paper. And the orientation is also portrait. Here, how do we want to call this report? Well, this is the uh, four cards available or client request, the name of the client, client request report. Before we preview, let's just modify the design. The same thing that we did with the query, we're going to modify the design because what happened is that when you select the sorting, sorting, it will put that column first, but you don't want the year first, you want the maker first. So we need to restructure this to make sure that we have an order that makes sense. For example, the manufacturer first, then the model, then year, then uh, the selling price, then the color or extra. These two you can, so uh, you can, um, aligning as, as you want. What we are going to do now that we are in the design view of this report is to organize this column. We can see the, the header here, we have the report name, and here we have the header of the page, which is the field, the different fields, and the detail, which are all the different records that we're gonna have on those fields. So. Let's organize this first maker. I can see if you if you click control hold and you can select more than one. So the maker is not that long. It's just four, so it doesn't need that much space. The model as well. So I can reduce the space needed for that, so that I can allocate more space for extra that include more than one word. So we have model, we have a maker model, year, we want to put it after that, and price. In the design view, you can modify 
the text and font that are on the design. And for example, here you can see that selling price is is aligned to the to the left. We don't want that. We want this aligned to the to the right. So we can modify that by changing the format align here. Now we're gonna have selling price aligned to the left. Yes. If we want to do, uh, if we want to align to the center, it's the same thing. Sorry, here with the field name only, we can align to the center. Um, but now we remember, we want this to be the starting point. Then we have the model, little bit of space. Then we have the year, or you can have the price. But the year, which is our sorting variable, the price, the color, which doesn't need that much, space and then the extra with actually do need a lot of space we can increase the size and let's leave a little bit of space between the year and the model as well what we are doing is changing the design so that if you change the view now you can see how it looks like you see that selling price is, is aligned in the center, center aligned, and you can see that all the extra items that the car will have, and it looks nice. Now it looks how we want it. Before you jump and close and say, okay, I finished, just remember that you need to print this. Uh, and sometimes you need to also include, well, if you're in the exam, always you need to include here in the footer, you need to include your name and your candidate number and all of that. But let's say that we just want to print it from here, right? So here we can right click and we can uh, print preview. So we can print, it's on poultry, yes, we is one page, everything is in one page. You can see one on one here and you can see that there is no more pages here. Um, you're just going to click print. Um, if you have a printer, it will it will come out here. If not, you can select PDF. We do that. I will give it a name. Let's say this version two B two. And now, when I see my report, it will be here. And this is what I print and give it to the client. Here are all the cars available in our garage that are made by Ford, organized by year, and we don't need to tell them how much we spend into buying the car. Um, that's everything for this video. In the next video, we are going to be working with other kind of rules in the queries to, um, to have a more detailed report that may be aligned to other kind of customers that want to know, okay, I want to have this type of wheel and this type of color um, and within this price range and some, uh, some other stuff. Cool. Bye-bye.